Smokey was notorious for sending a lot of letters to a lot of people, and this is one he sent to me March 20th, 2011, at the bank. Can you imagine the mail clerk when she <laughs> got that. that letter for me? But <laughs> it was one of many, and then he also came and dropped things off at my desk. So this letter came out of my desk after 44 years of working in one spot. I had a lot of stuff in there, and this was one of the letters. So this is for Vicki to add Thank to her so collection. Much. Thank you. And like I said, I will cherish this and put it with my collection of these memorable letters. And uh, he was a dandy. <laughs> <laughs> but we all loved him and um, certainly miss him. And we're here today to toast him. So, Richard, without further ado. Well, Smokey was one of my oldest friends along with Dennis Swoboda, Doty Ladd. And uh, we have a lot of stories about James Gerald Vanzel II. We wouldn't know where to begin. But uh, he was a character and we love him. Happy birthday, Smokey. Yes. Yep. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Smokey. Smokey. And like Richard, I've known Smokey since uh, first grade when we all came into St. Boniface uh, grade school in Edwardsville in first grade. And since uh, the nuns had no knowledge of us in first grade, they didn't have a seating order arranged already. So they just sat us in alphabetical order. And so Smokey and I and Mickey Treckler and Marty Videlabine and Judy White and David Waters and Michael <laughs> Vukarich. And all the people with names that toward the end of the alphabet, we were in the back left corner of the classroom in what they called, or what Gene Shepard coined as alphabetical ghetto. And so I've known, <laughs> I've known Smokey since we were first seated in the alphabetical ghetto at first grade in St. Boniface. And this is not the first year we're here. This is several years now we've been many. doing this. Many years we've been doing this. And uh, if, Jack, if you could pan over to the gravestone, you can see some of the memorabilia that we've accumulated. You'll see there... Uh, Smokey and his dad were great fans of Frank Sinatra. His dad knew him personally. And uh, there you see uh, some of Smokey's favorite drinks. We don't have Crown Royal or VO here, but we have a bottle of Dr. Pepper. And on the top we have some drinks, uh, some alcoholic beverages that at our age we're able to drink now. So uh, pass it along, Steve. Year. So, I, I wouldn't know. so I have a lot of smoky stories, most of which I can't go into here in mixed company. But uh, no, he was a good friend. I, you know, I didn't move to the Edwardsville Glen Carbon area until I was a junior in high school, and shortly thereafter, I met Smokey and Crotz. And uh, you know, I'm going, where have I moved to? Those two guys. <laughs> but uh, uh, anyway, he. Uh, uh, he was a good friend. I think about him often. I miss him. And uh, even my wife Rose uh, got to know him and she misses him too. So I didn't know him as long as you guys did, but that boy was a piece of work. And I must say, we took the salve route to get here today. Yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't know him as long as you guys did. And he is one of the guys I did not date in school. Uh, I had a lot of boyfriends, as I recall. Uh, but I always just really loved his spirit. He always talked to you and I do remember him at the last uh, class reunion that was we were doing at that little winery and 40 years. Yeah, and and I he took off on the road and <laughs> I was just like uh, uh, you know. <laughs> and uh, Nick Hackett was chasing after him and I don't know. I I I thought he was a great guy. He had so Nick much followed spirit. Him down to the Champlin store. So That's what it was. Buy, yeah, there it was buy like lottery tickets. I thought he created his own parade basically <laughs> that day, but I just liked his spirit and he went his own way. You know, he's one of a kind and I wish I would have known him, you know, earlier. Happy birthday. Mr. K. Yeah, he was something else, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. I, and uh um uh, uh, more than anything else, he would just get under his dad's. <laughs> he was a burr under his saddle up there at that one. He'd try to bring those bands and stuff in up there. God, they just drive Jim crazy up there with that rock and roll business in Vanzo. That was, that was hilarious. But the one thing that uh, uh, sticks out in my mind, in a pretty recent memory anyway, was uh, I was at uh, Lois Lab Chiropractor. And uh, I think she used to treat Smokey. Yes, she did. And uh, he was there, and she, she said, hey, Smokey wants to talk to you. I said, okay. And so I was done, and he was done. He said, hey, can you give me a ride home? And that's when he was living out there off of South Main in those apartments out me, there. Me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me. Yeah, and um, 
So he says, uh, I said, sure, sure, yeah, no problem. And uh, as anybody knows here, we're, we're pretty used to doing that with Smokey whenever you ran into him. And uh, so he goes, hey, do me a favor, pull it, pull in Dairy Queen here. I, I want to get an ice cream cone or something. And I said, okay. So I go in and he goes, I get, get a, so he tells me what he wants. So, so we're going through the drive up and we get it. And so we come up to the, the drive up window and he goes, oh, I don't have any money. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, oh, okay, well, why don't I just go ahead and get it for you this time? So, uh, if anybody uh, else has had that experience, I'm, I'm, I'm sure they'll recognize it. It, was, it wasn't unusual, and, and bless his heart, it was uh, 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 something that we sure as heck didn't mind doing for the guy. That's for right. sure. Yeah. I uh, met Smokey in the ninth grade, and we lived back by the Lutheran school, and we had to walk to to the junior high where we had the ninth grade it was Richard, uh, Mark O'Loughlin, Smokey, Greg Black. Greg Black. We'd all meet up right about uh, Buchanan and Hillsboro and then walk to school. But the good part of walking to school with Smokey was you could stop at the tavern and get a candy bar on the way <laughs> in the ninth grade. <laughs> so he was a character, knew him uh, all those years. And like everyone said, there's, there's a lot of stories that... Uh, that we remember every time we think about him. And every year we come out here and say happy birthday to him. So happy birthday, Smoke, and we'll be back again next year. I'll drink to that. Anybody else? I could really go on with some stories because I knew Smokey since kindergarten. And uh, we would I would walk to his house on Hillsboro, and he would come over to my house. And uh, we just had a lot of fun smoking, uh, what was it? down in the woods, uh, monkey vine, yes. smoking monkey vine Springer down Wood. in the woods in Springer's <laughs> Woods, I don't, and then wading through that god-awful water in Springer Woods. But uh, we had a lot of fun down there, and it was in the, down at the end of uh, Halleck Street, too. But I miss old Smokey. There's many birthdays I've always been with him and uh, celebrated. Happy birthday, Smokey. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Smokey. We got it. One last word, Smokey. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> the red lights on. All okay. right. Jack okay. Friends and Smokey. Happy birthday, James Gerald Banzo II. So we were together on his, years old. on his 14th and now 55 years later. Wow. 55 years later. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.